right. We have our super chat first for the day from Asif Azrat. Uh, Four dollars and twenty cents. Asif writes summary of de-urbanization. Fifty. Oh, that's right, because you have a limit based on how much you spend on super chats. If you we're nice, we're really nice to our super chatters. Asif, if you want to follow up with a not super chat, and Jim sees that, we'll we'll get that read on the yeah, air yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But summary of de-urbanization, I guess if you're asking me, um, de-urbanization, now I, I kind of want to look this term up because honestly, I, I'm not familiar with it. When I hear the word de-urbanization, uh, I think of the positive march that I'm leading right now. I don't know if you noticed, this is my pinned tweet. I am leading the most important march of revolution in the world right now, it is the march out of cities into the woods where there's plenty of freedom to go around. So that's, that's what I like to think of when, when I hear this term, uh, de-urbanization. But uh, when I look this up, uh, the definition is to, uh, to divest a city or locality of urban characteristics. So if that means to, you know, spread out a population or to make it you know, more like a town and, and less like a city. Uh, I'm all for it. That sounds like, you know, maybe a more specific part of, of what I'm describing in this march to freedom out of the city. Wikipedia shows up with a story in the DuckDuckGo search for de-urbanization with counter-urbanization or de-urbanization is a demographic and social process whereby people move from urban areas to rural areas. It is like suburbanization inversely related to urbanization. So this is so when you say counter, this is actually really exactly what I'm talking about now. This is awesome. Uh, now, if it's to to you know divest urban characteristics, that sounds like you know something more specific in the negative. Like you know we're getting rid of this negative. We're getting we're, we're getting rid of you know people living in giant piles of people asshole the belly button. We're getting rid of uh, in rampant homelessness. We're getting rid of uh, overbearing, militarized you know, metropolitan police forces. Yes, absolutely. But apparently in the broader definition with counter-urbanization, it's really uh, a, 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 the, one of the, the, the huge positive counter-reactions to the urbanization that was a product of modern bureaucratic governments, especially fiat currencies. Now, why does New York exist? Why would we have so many people piled up in such a giant group? Like, is it, it because there's a fountain of money there? You know, why do you have overgrown cities in every capital in the United States? It's the same reason that you have military bases and defense contractors in almost every congressional district. You have a, a fountain of money that, if you have access to, creates this artificial incentive for people to live close to if not the fountain of money itself, the Federal Reserve System, Washington, D.C., New York City, at least to all of these little, you know, spigots uh, that, that pop up as, as, as satellites of the fountain of money, right? Where every, every, every state gets two senators bringing home the pork, so you get that, you know, outsized growth of every state capital. And, and, and all of these government projects create this artificial incentive for people to live close together. There are two factors at least in the counter uh, to this trend. And, you know, according to Wikipedia, it's first occurred as a reaction to inner city deprivation. Well, you know, there's always been a flow in to cities and out of cities as long as cities have existed. And there has always been a, a sort of deprivation going along with living in a city. But now with inner city deprivation, I suppose at a, at a new level, you look and go, well, yeah, this is something that we can point to as a decisive, beautiful trend to celebrate. And the factors that, that I would point to as, as bigger factors, like right now driving this trend, one, coronavirus encouraging people to work remotely, work from home, which is part of the bigger trend without coronavirus of just technology and, and people you know just realizing, hey, commuting sucked. I don't have to do this to sit at a desk. Cool. Sign me up for working from home. I'm going to They come to the work in my pajamas every day. Sounds great. And then the the other big one is just the increase in prosperity. 
where although there is still an incentive like like for me you know i i went to a i went to a really good undergrad college i, you know, I went to grad school I, I could have gone you know mainstream corporate ladder lifestyle and lived in a city and be making way more money than i'm making right now if i wanted to chase the dollar but i know that i can i, I don't have to do that to have financial security to know that I'm going to have a, you know, food, water, shelter, clothing, electricity, and internet, right? Like I've done, I, I don't need to, to be a slave to do that. I can go and I can live on 10 acres in the middle of the mountains in Arizona and I can build a homestead and I can be free and I can be happy without uh, all of these other things. So the fact that humanity has become much more prosperous and capable of this, I mean, how many people living in cities right now are about to get big government checks and go, you know what? I just got I just got back pay unemployment. I got twenty thousand dollars or more. Well, you know what you can do for twenty thousand dollars? You can buy a piece of land, a big comfortable RV, and everything you need to go with it to live comfortably off grid, indefinitely. Why? Why? Like, well, get your escape pod. That's what that de-urbanize or counter-urbanize, if you want a more inclusive term. Great comment. Thank you, Azif. And another, another follow-up from Azif. Love the show and the message. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you very much, Azif. So that's that's my take on de-urbanization. <laughs>